Oh, well, hello there, ladles and jelly spoons. Hey, guys. And welcome to another episode of Massey Art Studios. Studios. I'm Lee. I'm Jeremy. And in this episode, because he's been asking to do this for the <laughs> longest of times. <laughs> yes. Um, Jeremy, what are you going to do? I'm going to be doing a swipe. Yes, you are. Yes. Um, I definitely tip my hat to Kathleen from Cos Creations Absolutely. for doing these all the time. Um, we like to cut out all the in-between swipes, so it's a little bit of a pain in the behind to edit. Um, but I'm going to, we're going to do it and we'll yes. show you a fun swipe. You've picked some beautiful colours. Thank you. So I'm excited for this one. I'm going to use the colours that we had in the last episode. Nice. The crazy colour palette that you picked with those oranges and blues and we added a few reds. And I'm going to flip. Huh. Yeah, I wanted to see how these would react in a flip cup. Because people always say orange is really hard to use. Are you going to layer your cup or are you going to dirty pour? I'm going to dirty pour. Oh, okay. Yeah, I always like a dirty layered flip and lip. Yeah. So that's exactly so what I. I'm going to do. Yeah. So that is my plan. Um, some fun things that are coming up. Christina Welsh has sent us 12 of her Pourage Posse paints. And we're going to blob with them. And you're going to do some fluid art with them. I am going to. I've been teaching this guy how to blob, yeah. which I'm really excited about. <laughs> and he picked some Arteza pearls. Yes. So we're using the recipe that I've been using for my Liquitex Basics paints, and he's been blobbing with them. Mm -hmm. Excited to show you that one. If you've been following us on TikTok, you'll see some sneak peeks over there. Um, and then on October the 23rd, there is the collaboration with the nine artists from the flu the nine artists, the nine artists <laughs> from the fluid art experience <laughs> that starts at three o'clock Eastern on the 23rd and goes on for two and a half hours. Yes. That's going to be awesome. Yeah, that's going to be incredible. And then we've got a sneak peek of a couple of products that are going to be coming out from TLP and Fluid Art Co. Oh my God. Yeah. So some fun, fun stuff that's going to be coming up over the next few weeks. Um, so we hope that you enjoy this content. Enough waffle, show pony. Enough waffle. Let's get to the table. Let's get to swiping. Hey guys, it's Jeremy here, and I'm super excited about today's pour. You've been wanting to do one of these for a while. I have. So I'm going to be doing swipes. You are. You're going to swipe it. Yes. The colors that I'm using today, um, I think, are really pretty. Um, I have Prussian Blue by Amsterdam. Okay. I love my Prussian blue. I have Shimmering Silver by Deco Arts Metallics. Got it. And then I have this incredible yellowish green okay. by Amsterdam. It's like it. crazy. It's like, like yeah. in your face green. And then I have this emerald green that I mixed with some, I think it was the deep it was like a deep green that I mixed this with. Like maybe sap green? Yeah, sap green. Okay. That's what it was. That and I then, mixed this with to get, to get this little color here. You have gold on the table, but you're not going to use it, right? I don't know if I'm going to use it. I do have Deco Arts 24 karat metallic gold, and I'm not sure about that. And you have two blues. I do. Um, I also have uh, Pearl White by uh, Deco Arts Metallics. Right. And I have this ocean green that I just love. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, because you've got yeah. that. I love that blue, by the way. Oh, oh is that it. this one? This That's is Prussian, Prussian blue. Yeah, got it. Stunning. Okay. Yeah. And your base my... color, your background color? White. Got it. I'm doing a white ba uh, base coat, and I have my little, little pail here, my little trusty fluid art little code fluid jug. Art cold jug. Love that. Yes. Um, and yeah, so let's get started. I'm ready for this. Okay. Um, your paints are thin. They are thin. They're mixed Dutch yeah. pour consistency thin. Yeah. They're like, yeah, they're like super runny honey kind of. 50% flow troll, 25% uh, paint, and then 25% water for anyone that yes. wants to try this at home. Exactly. All right, show probably go for it. Yeah. Let's flood that canvas. All right. Okay guys, so I got my base coat down nice and thin on the canvas. Now it's time for me to start putting my colors down. Do it. Yeah. You know what, I'm gonna start with the Prussian blue in the center. Love it. Now we start on the pouring off. Okay. 
going down the center here. There we go, nice line. What am I gonna do next? I think I'm gonna go home with the silver. Alright guys, now that I have this crazy mixture of colors on my canvas. Crazy mixture. Crazy. Look at that silver, it just kind of like took over. Mm -hmm. um, I got my piece of paper towel damp with a little bit of water on okay. it. And I'm going to start my swipe. Okay. Choose. 
Alright guys, so this is me almost done. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to actually take that Prussian blue and I'm going to do a line right down the center, kind of uneven. I'm going to follow this pattern here. And, um, and then I'm going to do just a little tiny, 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 tiny stripe of pearl white in the center of that. Okay, so I take that back. What I'm gonna do is instead of putting the pearl white, I'm gonna use this like little straw thing that I have. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna blow a little bit on it just to get that uh, Prussian blue a little bit more Integrated. prominent. Okay. Oh. Okay, now I'm done. I'm loving this. I love how everything has just come together and there's so many cells and there's like, just, I mean, it's just beautiful, I think. And I'm no silicone, no silicon nope, was used. No silicone was used in this pour. <clears throat> I love it, it's very under the sea. You think so? Mm -hmm. I love it, I think it's great. It's like a supernova. Yeah, all right, so that's me. I'm gonna go ahead and get my edges, take you guys in for a close-up. Let's do it.
Well, hello there, ladles and jelly spoons. After about 17 hours worth of editing, Jeremy's swipe will be ready. <laughs> but it was well worth it, show pony. I really loved it. Well done on a beautiful pour. So, what have I got? Well, the astute of you will recognize these colors because these were the ones we used in our last pour. Um, this is Permanent Red Purple by yes. Amsterdam. This is a Lizarin Crimson Hue by Decoart. Yep. This is Cadmium Orange from Golden. We got Pearl Marmalade. Yes. We've got a really lovely. That is um, Aqua from Amsterdam. Was it liquid it's, uh, it's turquoise blue. Oh, it's lovely. Pearl white, 24 karat gold. And then this is actually a mixture of white and Prussian blue mixed together. So it's a really shimmery pearl white plus Prussian blue, which I'm going to use a little dash of. Uh, I was using this as a base coat for a blob and I keep the excess just in case I need to go around and do my edges again. But I need something a little dark, like a darker blue tone in here, because I do not have it amongst these lovely reds and oranges. I can't wait to see this. I'm really excited. Well, thank you, show pony, for your excitement. I'm excited <laughs> too. Um, I got two flip cups on this 10 by 20 inch canvas because I'm going to do two just because it's easier to disperse the paint across the canvas of that course. way. You know? A rectangle, yeah. On a, exactly, on a rectangle. So let's get these colors in. Um, pour in from a height in order to disperse the paint throughout the white. I'm going to start with the Alizarin Crimson Hue. She's always a little thicker for some reason than a lot of the others. That's because it's a golden. This is the Pearl Marmalade. I love that Pearl Marmalade next to that alizarin. I like it next to this blue. Funnily enough, those oranges and those blues do look really stunning when they're mixed correctly next to each other. Here's the beautiful red violet. Yeah. Red purple? Red purple. Red purple. Hmm, not my favorite. Some cadmium. And then let's put this dark blue. I don't think you need the gold. You know what? I appreciate your input, sir. Okay. But it is going to be just a tad. Just like that. Tiny, teeny, tiny, tiny, teeny, tiny amount. Yes? Yeah. Did you see that? Yeah, I saw that. Did you see how much I put in there? I did. It was not a lot, right? No. Do you approve? Yes. No, you don't, you little fibber. You didn't want to put it in there. <laughs> Whatever. It just always, to me, with orange, it, look, it comes out looking brownish to me. You know what? I like a bit of brown. It's not a problem for me. Okay, I am now going to proceed. Um, I have a lot of paint here. I've got 14 ounces of paint and I only need probably about six or seven for this canvas. So I'm not going to put a flow extender down first. Okay. Yeah, because I, I probably will not need it. Okay. Are you going to lip it? Uh, of course. You wash your mouth out, sir. How dare you ask me such a question when I flip? You know that I can't flip without lipping, in fact. Lip it good. Do, 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 do. Are you gonna put your float extender on while you're pink, sir? No. 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 I'm not. As I've just mentioned, I feel like I have enough paint in my little pots here, so I don't think I'm gonna need it. Um, all right. So what I've done is I flipped my paint pots onto my canvas. The paint that was at the bottom is now at the top because yes. the top is now the bottom of the cup. Yes. So just wait in a quick second while all those paints just come down and intermingle with each other just to make yep. sure that everything comes out of this pot. Let's now flip and drag. And now let's lip. Now the areas where I have bare canvas, which is the corners, that's where I'm now going to put my flow extender. Okay. But only around the bare edges. In the interest of not having you sit through, I 
just torched it. But I did that off camera. We probably torch every single piece, maybe two, three, even four times. Yes. But we never show it because it's always just noisy. Yeah. So I just torched it. Now, show pony, it is time. It's tilting time. It is tilting time. Let's tilt this double flip cup out. So there we have it, folks. As I was tilting this one out, Jeremy was like, oh, well, you just tilted off everything I like. <laughs> well, I was like, well, I didn't like it. So I tilted it off. Um, yeah, interesting little flippity ditty there. I love the crimson hue. Love that it's kind of peeking through some of the other areas at the bottom. Um, orange, not my favorite color, but it has its place and I'm not mad about it. Um, do love the blues that are running through here too. So, I love it. I know you do, because you love orange. So, I'm gonna scrape my edges, I'm gonna touch this one off, and then I'm gonna take you guys in for a close up. Perfect. Thank you guys. So there you have it, folks. There you have it. There you have it. All right, show pony, talk to me about your swipe. Oh my gosh. I thought that swipe came out incredible. I love, I was gonna use gold, and then I thought, mm, no, not with these colors. Let's put right. some silver with it. Right. And, uh, and I thought it worked out great. I love the Prussian blue. I loved that yellowish green that was in there. 
Um, and I mean, I just thought that it all meshed really well. It all swiped really well together. I did. Got a ton of cells. And that's just from that deco, that dazzling metallics, uh, deco art silver. Right. Yeah, it was beautiful. Very under the sea vibes to me. I liked yeah. the greens and the blues together. It was beautiful. I enjoyed my double flip cup. Yeah. There was a little too much orange on there for me. Not a huge fan <laughs> of the orange, cadmium or whatever. I off all of my mm. favorite parts. I was like, no! Yes, I did. <laughs> because I didn't love them and I wanted to open up all those purples and blues under there. But I really enjoyed this. It's a cute little 10 by 20 inch canvas yeah. and, it, and it's drying really beautifully. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Some really stunning colors yeah. in there. Thank you for that show pony. You're welcome. All right, people. Well, happy Sunday to you all. Yeah. As you know, there will be a train. We've got a premiere train starting. We are the start of the train. And next up, it's going to be Gina DeLuca. Gina DeLuca. So please follow us over there to Gina's channel for some wonderfulness. And uh, we'll be back here on Tuesday for another fun yeah. tour. Yeah. Yeah? Have a good weekend, everyone. We'll see you very soon. Bye, guys. Bye. So now it's time to spank the Patreons. It is time to spank the Patreons. And who are the Patreons? Well, they're a really special bunch of people. Yes. Who've decided to come and follow us outside of the YouTube channel. It's a completely separate account and people can opt into different tiers. Yeah, absolutely. And those different tiers allow people different rewards. Uh -huh. So for example, at one level, there's behind the scenes pictures and videos and sneak peeks of what we do in the studio. Uh -huh. And then at another level, there is a once a month live stream exclusively just for those yeah. gold level patrons. And then at another level, they also get a once a month live tutorial. Yes. Where we might take an individual technique and walk through it step by step by step by step. So we really appreciate these guys because they're coming to us and supporting us outside of the channel. It means an awful lot to it us. It does mean a lot to us. So we have some thank yous. And at that gold level, we have, we have Trisha West, we have Terry Leshner, we have Tammy Housebrook, we have Stephanie Hancock, We've got Sharon Luffy, the wonderful pocket rocket Patsy Petrelli. <laughs> We've got Nate Bright Art. We've got Mama Doulas. We have Linda Serieni. We've got Kelly Stowell of Feral Arts. Yeah. We've got Jane Klein and Gloria Salaki. We have Gillian Kennedy yes. of Bell's Creations. We have Elizabeth Giuliano. We have Kathy J. And we have Amy, AKA Crafty Chicken Mom. Yes. And? And then on our platinum level, we have Susan Shepherson, Susan Chigori, Judith Joan Art, we have Janice Pittman, and we have Elaine Burton. Oh my gosh, we all know and love and has been with us pretty much from day one. Yes. As most of you have. So thank you so very much for being with us. Yes. We really genuinely do appreciate you and your support. It allows us the opportunity to keep painting and keep doing fun stuff for you guys. Mm -hmm. So thank you so very much. Thank you very much. And to everyone else that's down here below, we honestly can't thank you enough. Really does mean the world to us. So thanks guys. 